politics as a whole like it's just this abstract word that means like a hundred thousand different things yeah, to yeah. different people but i feel like anyone who has any interest in politics there was like one issue that like hooked them and got them into it and then once they got in there they're like holy shit there's a lot yeah, to yeah, this yeah. do you remember if there was one specific topic one incident one issue that brought you into the fold of like actually politics is something that i care about now um, well, I suppose I developed addiction services for a long time and I, so I was quite embedded in like community development style of work. Um, so for me, it was the years of austerity that um, politicised me. So I always had a sense of injustice, like usually it was if it was somebody was being unjust to me, yeah, <laughs> you know, when you're younger, it's like, it's just me, it's all about me, <laughs> you know. Um, so, but then that, you know, as you get older, you, the injustice yeah. is span out <laughs> and it becomes more of a collective endeavour then. Um, but it was the years of austerity when I seen how, you know, wealth was bailed out and struggling communities were just absolutely assaulted with constant austerity budgets. And it didn't matter how many people died because their youth services were, were reduced, their programmes were gone, addiction services were being dismantled, mm. all of that type of stuff. It would have been that when I seen that, like, if something goes wrong in the country, we already get very little mm -hmm. and they'll make sure that you're the one that will pay, which are very little, mm. you know, while bankers are bailed out and, you know, yeah. the wealthy remain wealthy, but the poor, we're always poor, but they get even poorer, you know, and mm -hmm. their, their, their resources that they do have are, are taken away. No, 100%. I think that was the austerity years post-recession, like kind of 2008 yeah. to... Yeah. I'm still up to today in some situations. Yeah, it is. Well, a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of uh, places never like the, the, it was never restored. Like yeah. We're still dealing yeah. with the, with the housing, uh, the the collapse of the housing system because of all of those years and what and what went before austerity, what led us there in the first place, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you know, drugs uh, services still are at a resource level pre two thousand and eight. They've never actually been reinstated. Their really? Funding. Yeah. No. So like you've projects even now that are wondering how they're going to pay the increase in energy costs to be able to still run their, their program. So there hasn't even been like um, uh, uh, the, every now and again, they might throw out a little small budget, like, but it's not a consistent thing yeah, to match yeah, yeah. the increase in, in, in rents and commercial rates, you know, in, in just keeping your building open, you know, so people still very much feel like they're in 2008, yeah. you know. Yeah. Very, yeah. Well, have you actually made any progress since then, or are we still just trying to catch back up to where we were before all that happened? Well, I, again, it's decisions. Yeah. A lot of sectors have remained to do okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Again, it's those who have, uh, you know, that will find the hardest to be at the table to set the agenda to make sure that, you know. Voice their yeah. side of the yeah. bang. Yeah, yeah. yeah.